Hello, everyone. I'm so excited to uh, talk to Sif. And now it's a little bit funny because I am uh, traveling, as you can see. I'm wearing my gold clothes. I'm in a hotel room here in the Italian part of Switzerland. And Sif lives in Italy. So I feel this is a great timing to be talking to you, Sif. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Uh, I know your Italian is better than mine. Uh, so, and I'm lucky here in the Italian part of Switzerland, everybody speaks German. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not here where I live. Nobody speaks anything except Italian. No. <laughs> well, we want to talk about sales funnels. Yeah. And uh, when I created sales every day last year, and we run the first round, your funnel was my guiding light. So <laughs> yeah, you, it's... You, you have to be here and tell people what happened back then, because I think if you hadn't created the funnel that you created, if we hadn't met and talked about it and, 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 and had the strategy and you had actually gone ahead and do it, I don't know if sales every day would actually even exist. Yeah, it's kind of maybe like the, the, uh, the original sales every day. <laughs> It is the original sales every day, your funnel. So that's why we're doing this interview. And plus, because it is some years ago, and mm -hmm. we want to talk about what has changed or not changed since then. Uh, but yeah, let us take us back to a mastermind day in San Diego in March 2017. So wow, that's like yeah. six years ago. <laughs> Yes, it's incredible. incredible. I was just reading uh, one of the posts from um, uh, like uh, announcing this uh, interview. And I was, it said something like um, that it was so sophisticated or something. I, I, I can't remember the word. And I, I, I just had to laugh because it was anything but sophisticated. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But basically, uh, we had a coaching session or a coaching time together, and uh, the topic of sales funnels came up. Mm -hmm. And back then, I didn't have my own sales funnel, <laughs> but I understand the concept of marketing and sales pretty well. So I suggested the funnel to you. <laughs> Yeah, and it was kind of also because we were discussing like the pricing of my products and I was saying like, oh, I can't charge the same as like for business coaching. So we were discussing like, okay, I need volume to yeah. sell yeah. instead of uh, doing like a, because like a launch is not going to bring the same unless I have like a, a bigger list. So that's how we came up with the, yes. why we came up with the funnel yeah. because I needed to grow my list. Exactly. Because I am such a fan of launches as I am still yeah. today, but especially for those who are in the uh, lower price segments of programs, uh, you know, you are teaching, maybe you're selling to B2C or it's a hobby for the person and it's not uh, a necessity or mm -hmm. something that grows their business. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those online courses or memberships tend to be lower priced. And so mm -hmm. if you have a lower priced product, you need just more people. And yeah. how do you get more people? You can post as much as you want on social media. You're not going to get them just by posting on social media. No, or it, at least it takes a really, really long time to build up like a huge audience, very engaged people. And it's a it's a hard work, yeah. long time, like years maybe yeah. to to do that. So and I you didn't also have years need... to, <laughs> yeah. to wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't have time to wait five years. Also, yeah. I think you need to be a special type of a person to, yes. uh, I just know very few people that are successfully growing social media organically. And it's the people who love spending all day on social media, engaging yeah. with everybody. And if you're not that person, you need to use that. Yeah, that is hard. Yeah. So let's talk about how we came up with the actual topic of the funnel. The whole point was yes. that... Yeah, you said, okay, I think uh, we, we came to the conclusion, yes, you need a funnel, launches are not bringing you enough revenue. And uh, then the question was, what? What is it? Mm -hmm. And uh, you said, 
you had checked your Google Analytics. Yes, because I had been blogging a little bit or writing some articles, putting them up on my website. Yeah. So I had like uh, I was able to go in in the Google Analytics and look at like which uh, topics were most popular. Um, yeah. I had never done a, a survey. Actually, you had me do a survey. I had you do a survey. Yes. Just to double check. Yeah. I think basically, going into Google Analytics and you saw oh, here's my most popular blog post. And it was way popular than any other blog post. Typically, that's the case. Mm -hmm. I've also had a blog post on my blog that was had 40% of my whole traffic. So sometimes you have a blog post like that and you had a blog post like that. Still, I asked you to create a survey. Yeah, and so I did that before I came to the Mastermind Day. So I brought the, <laughs> the results. So you brought the survey results and it was the same conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember you know, you're a dog behaviorist. And uh, up until this moment, uh, you had focused on complicated dog issues a little bit more. Yes, because I was, because I'm a, like, I'm an expert with degrees. <laughs> so naturally, when I started my business, I went back to the literature and like, look up some scientific articles about like, what is the most common uh, reason why people take their dog to the behaviorist. So I had like uh, results from that. That was like studies, but they weren't, um, they were studies that were done like at the behaviorist and they were the diagnosis based on the diagnosis of the behaviorist and not uh, the, not the real reason why people came there. No. So it, because it wasn't like studying the client, it was studying the the experts, the therapists. It was studying the dog, the problem of the dog, but not yes. not what I am thinking when I'm googling. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's why in the beginning, like I started creating courses around those topics that I saw from the studies, and I I was like, why is this not selling so much? Like. I sold a few, but it wasn't really taking off. So I was like, oh, this is weird. Like, why Why don't they want my courses? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were coming from the expert standpoints. Well, yeah. and now, now we had the confirmation. We had the blog post and we had the survey. And what did everybody want? Barking. <laughs> it was like the number one problem. Like 55% of all people in the survey said that they had a problem with their dog barking. Yeah. And like barking is not a diagnosis. No. So it was nowhere in the scientific literature anything about like people going to the behaviors because of barking, because yeah. it's not a, 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 a like a, a medical diagnosis. No. And that's why you didn't see it yourself. And yeah. And when the result came, you're like, duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It seemed so logical. Like when I, but you know, I had to ask the people. Yes. You, you have, have to, to ask, ask my ideal clients. Yeah, you have to ask them what they want and then you need to give it to them. So tell us about your funnel that you then created. Yeah, so then uh, th there was no sales every day. But no, then. no. We so just I had, had to, to go talk. home and like create everything on my own. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. After, after we sketched it out, you did. Yeah, we sketched it. Uh, so, yeah, so I had like a piece of paper where we had like written out, you you wrote out like here, you have to have this page and then they go to this page. So yeah. I knew like what I had to do. And I was using uh, lead pages at the time to use to make um, pages. So that's just what I, I used because I knew how to use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but there were no instructions have... but from me, technical instructions. You just yeah, not technical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just a piece of paper with yeah. like little squares like here you write this <laughs> yeah here's what here happened and here you yeah. send an email and here's the yeah. thank you page but so but I was able to because I knew like more or less how to use um lead pages um uh, but I'm not a graphic designer <laughs> I'm a veterinarian <laughs> and uh I, I was like uh recently started uh, doing anything online so I, I was learning all the stuff yeah and um yeah so i just went home and i made like really basic pages like they were not super duper fancy or sophisticated um i was using like maybe pictures of my own dog that i took on my phone camera yeah and um and like a video um i i, I 
uh, yeah, I made like a video, um, and, like rang the doorbell and had my own dog bark so I could take a video of yeah. the barking dog. I remember I was living it. in a also yeah. living in a in a tiny village in Italy. <laughs> I didn't have uh, easy access to uh, dogs to make um, films. No. Yeah. So you yeah, so I made these pages. I don't yeah. remember anymore how many. There was a few pages, um, and then I wrote some emails. And I remember later when you were, you did like a um, review, like you went through it for me. Yeah. <laughs> when you were creating some uh, materials, I think for Sampa. And you were like, yeah, I would like write a little bit more in this email. It was like just two paragraphs or something. <laughs> yeah, it was really, really short. It was basically by here. Yes. <laughs> it was, everything was like super duper simple, short pages, not so much fluff or like no fancy sales copy or anything. But it was kind of authentic. People were like, oh, this is safe. Like, this is how yeah. she talks. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so I think yeah. I think that's why it worked. Yeah, it, it felt real. It felt you. It was not, you know, even if you didn't have the nicest design or, or a lot of copy, hmm. it just uh, it was what people wanted. Yeah, they need it. Yeah. And so they were not bothered by that. It not looking so great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they, they knew it was me like the most of the people who were like they they kind of knew who I was yeah or they saw that oh she's a vet uh she has degrees yeah. and i need this so i'm i'm just gonna buy it even if the page is yeah yeah <laughs> not so sexy <laughs> so let's talk about the actual flow because people are always curious like what uh you did a facebook live and uh how long was the facebook live do you remember yeah i think it was like maybe just it was just a couple of minutes two or three minutes oh. Right? Yeah, it was really short. Yeah. It was just me uh, with my dog. I filmed it like on my phone on my friend's balcony. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was just me saying like, oh, there's like a few reasons. And then I counted like five reasons or something why dogs are barking. And then uh, and then I was like, yeah, but you can get like a, a free video about like the biggest mistakes that people make when their dog is barking. Yes sign up here and that was the freebie so then yeah. they come onto a landing page and they sign up for the freebie and that was a 10 minute video that you also had to record yes so that was and it was based on the like the first module or the first part of the paid um course the mini course that i was selling as yeah. the appetizer. yeah so it was like a teaser yeah yes yeah so it and it actually said on the like, this is a lesson from my course. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So that was the freebie. So they didn't have to pay anything, but they sign up. They haven't even watched the 10 minute video. Yeah. And then on the thank you page, you offer your appetizer. We call it appetizer, a low yeah. cost program. But I, I gave them 30 minutes to decide. So they could actually go to their email, watch the 10 minute video and then decide. Yeah. Uh, but I think actually most people, they don't do that. They oh. just... No, I don't think most, I think people don't do that. And that's important for those who are thinking of their own sales funnel is that this is for our instant purchases. Like, yeah, it's a certain percentage of the public that yeah. takes fast decisions and fast action. And uh, yeah, it's a, cer it, a certain kind of person. It's a certain kind of a person. Yeah, not everyone is attracted. Not to everyone. That. And so we are grabbing those people. We're making a juicy offer. The offer goes away. Uh, but you uh, you had higher prices because I was talking yesterday to Eva and Carolina and their, yeah exactly I also watched and their appetizer and, was yeah. like between seven and twelve euro but yours was thirty eight yeah actually I started lower <laughs> <laughs> um, I started with a lower price it was actually like um, twenty seven I think or something in the beginning yeah. and then I, the the conversion was really good so I thought yeah. hmm, let me like uh I think Eva yesterday was saying like about testing yeah um, yeah or yeah yeah so and the, so the conversion so, was higher than what I said to you would be expected yeah yes so you told me like I don't know two or three percent and the conversion was almost six percent so I was like yeah. oh this is good yeah so, and then I was like hmm, I wonder if they would pay more yeah 
Because <laughs> in the I was uh, I was like, hmm, maybe maybe I'd like to have like a, a little um, yeah profit from this. Of so course. I was like, okay, let me try to put up the price. So I, I raised the price to thirty eight. Yeah. Just to see what happened, and the conversion was the same. That this is exactly what this is a part of what we do in the program. Obviously, is to make sure that you yeah. test this because why not charge more if equal amount of people buys? Yeah, because then uh, my my funnel made the profit. Yes, yes, exactly. And uh, the example we gave uh, in an email actually that we sent out this morning was mm -hmm. uh, in one month you spent. 200 euro yeah and you got 700 back i think that's just unbelievable for that yeah. point yeah 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 it was really good and plus uh also the all the emails that i was adding like i was adding like 5 10 15 people per day yeah on my email list yes so the next time that i launched uh it was a much bigger launch because i've i had all these new people yes and that's exactly it. If you just launch, you have to pay up front and you take massive risk. In mm -hmm. this case, the leads are Yeah, exactly. Paid. I was so, I wasn't paying anything for the leads, plus yeah. I was making a profit. Like it's a win-win in every yeah. direction. Every direction. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And uh I've used your example and we gave it a name. Yes, we have to talk about that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Your funnel needs a name. So yes. Sif's funnel is the bark funnel. Mm -hmm. So anytime you hear me talk about Sif's funnel, I don't have to mention Sif's name. It's just the bark funnel. We know yeah. what we're talking about. It's uh, it is basically basically the principle behind sales every day, uh, except that I took it one step further and people actually sell a four week course automatically. After yeah. So yeah. So I I had um, I think I did sell something um. No, I actually, I sent a, a reminder for the, after the, they had 30 minutes to decide. Yeah. Um, And then there was another email, maybe a week later or something that said like, oh, do you regret that you didn't buy the, Yeah. you can still yeah. get it. I'll give you 10, 10 euros discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I had also some, a few more sales come in from that. Oh, this, this is a good you know, thing, if you want to cancel, for instance, a membership, suddenly you get a good offer. So it's something yeah. along those lines. Yeah. 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 But basically you were building your list for free so that you would have a lot of leads because for as my next discussed, launch. Yeah. yeah, as we discussed, when you sell lower price programs, you just need a lot of people to make the same amount of money than the people who have higher price programs. So uh, now you are no longer doing this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you have changed your direction completely. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I was, um, I think, uh, just after, uh, um, uh, let's say, long, long career as a veterinarian. Um, I, I've, I've been a veterinarian for 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I just was getting a little bit burnt out, maybe, or tired, Um but I, I felt like I had to continue because this is like where I have all my degrees. This is my zone of excellence. I'm really good at it. Um, people ask me about it all the time. And I um, so I was like, I, ha I have to keep doing this. But I was getting a little bit tired and I wasn't. Um, I, I wasn't like keeping up the, the growth. Hmm. You know, it was like stagnating yeah. a little bit. So. Uh, yeah, so you asked me actually a tough question. Yes. <laughs> you took a chance. <laughs> I, I took a, a chance. I'm like, can, can I do this? Can I, yeah. <laughs> can I Can I? put you against the wall and say, do you really want to be doing this? Yes. And then um, I decided to actually, I was like, okay, I'm maybe, maybe I don't. <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't really answer the question. I took a couple of weeks um, off, like a holiday for two weeks without doing anything in my business, just stopped everything um, and decided to just like meditate and, and journal and like think about it. And then actually uh, another passion came forward that had been there the whole time. 
but I had been like suppressing it and not giving it uh, any attention uh, or like I was uh, it was a hobby yeah um that I had like a passion for but actually a hobby that I, I went to a conference <laughs> about this hobby yeah and uh, uh and I had like loads of books on it and stuff so um when I started thinking about it actually uh, yeah I realized that I wanted this hobby to have a bigger space in my life yeah. and uh and yeah try for a second career yes it was it kind of sparked like a almost like a midlife crisis <laughs> yeah but now you have the proof you uh joined Sompa kickstart you yeah so I was like yeah I um I want to start something new so of course the best place to start is the Sompa kickstart so I, I joined yeah. and I had for this new topic like I had nothing no email list no I had like a, a Facebook group that was like 10 years old and it had like 60 people or something in it mm -hmm. Um, and that was it like there was um, I didn't have any uh, any emails or social media following everyone like all my media was the that so yeah everything was about <laughs> dogs and cats and <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um, so I just posted on my private profile and um, and I contacted a couple of people I asked my my cousin to share for me on social media she has a lot of followers yeah um and yeah so i i contacted a few people personally asked them to share um and invited you know everyone i could uh, and i got 120 people signed up for my free course yeah. um and the free course was a writing workshop for people who want to write yeah um and I have actually, I have published a book before. I've written and published a book that I did uh, as a veterinarian. Yeah. And now I'm writing um, a fiction novel. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, and uh, people just loved my free course. I was like, I started, I had really no idea what I was going to do. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, I, I've actually like been interested in this in a long time. I have some ideas on like how I can help people. So I just um, started and like the topics just came to me and it, everything was so easy. Mm. And I had, uh, and then I did uh, an upsell and I had 7% conversions. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's really incredible. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So I, uh, I, I, yeah, now I'm starting a new career. <laughs> Yes, and you and now now I have a course, really great uh, course. Uh, that's a four week course, and I would like to make it a five week course. Yeah. Um, thinking back and looking at uh, the topics, it like just there was like uh, two weeks that had kind of three weeks of content yeah. in it. Yeah. So um, and now I want to now I need to grow my email list because I only have this uh, just over a hundred people. Like with the survey and the course. Um, there's like 160 people so I need uh, emails so yeah. now, <laughs> now back to the drawing board and make a new funnel yes now it comes full circle the original sales everyday funnel created 2017 you're going to create a new one for a new business yeah now you're gonna not be a veterinarian anymore you're gonna I'm going be to be a, a writer and, writer uh, and help yes. other people write yes this is beautiful and you've done all of this in less than three months knowing that this is your thing yeah so yeah. yes exactly I started like I I just like we had our initial conversation I think in November yes um in a coaching call and then in December I I was like still thinking <laughs> yes so and in December I took the the two weeks off um and then um yeah, the end of November, maybe beginning of December before the Kickstart launch. Um, and then I just joined Kickstart at the end of January. And that's yeah. how I started. Now we're here. Yes. And now we're here. Yeah. It's so you are exciting. going to create a funnel, new funnel. It's yeah. not going to be the Bark funnel. Mm -mm. The writer's funnel? Yes, maybe. 
Yes. Uh, I actually we need a name. We always I need have, a name for the funnel. Yeah, we have to brainstorm the name. But I have uh, I have names for like in Icelandic. Um, so the writing workshop, the starter course, um, is called uh, like uh, carrying a book, like in Icelandic. Uh, it, it's kind of like a it's a kind of pregnancy. Uh, yeah. A referral. Um, and it works it works in Icelandic this is all in Icelandic yeah and then uh the course that I'm starting now after Easter with my new students yes um is a three-month course on like where I'm helping them to write their book and it's called a book is born yes yes so maybe the funnel so, is something about birth and book and writing yeah. And... yes yes I can but, see that yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but people have been listening to us and there's one question we didn't answer your funnel was created 2017 yeah and a lot of things have changed since then and maybe some people doubt that what worked in 2017 will work now so we're well, gonna talk a little bit about that <laughs> I have no I have no doubts whatsoever I know it's work it still works we know it still works yeah because like, that, yes, many things have changed, but uh, like the basics of marketing are still the same. The basics of marketing are still the same. People still have problems mm -hmm. and they want a solution. And if they see an instant way to get a solution, fast solution, a freebie, and then a low price program that solves their problems, uh, they don't say no. And yeah. it's percentage of people. It's not everybody. It's the fast decision makers. But uh, Facebook ads did go up massively. Uh, like a year ago, they were absolutely crazy. You know, we we had to stop ads at some point for our launches because I just didn't want to spend more money. Yeah. Uh, and we had to ask our affiliate partners to go stronger. And mm -hmm. we did put more effort into organic. But this time around, this last December, January, it went down to quarter. Of what it was a year ago so yeah. actually the prices today i'm not saying they're exactly the same as 2017 but they are as close as they get so yeah 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 i did not uh, change that much i did a launch last year in my uh dog behavior business and i was paying like one one dollar a uh, one euro one euro 50 per lead which is the same that i was paying in uh, 2018 or 17 yes so, yeah yeah i i actually think that um funnels could even work better now than before because after the pandemic everyone is uh more used to buying stuff online yeah so um Correct. People, I even maybe remember. before people were a little bit yeah. nervous. I remember when I started, like way back in 2015, I started doing like um, coaching online for for dog parents, and uh, I had to send them uh, like a, a link with a YouTube video showing them how to click on a Zoom link. <laughs> yes, yes, we had to teach people how to get on Zoom. We yeah. had to teach people how to buy, and I know because you're living in Italy. Uh, yeah. Our Italian clients, there was no way for their clients to pay. Like, yeah. you know, uh, nobody had PayPal. People didn't have credit cards. So, I think you're right. It's yeah. actually easier. I, I think it's easier now because people are just more used to buying stuff online yeah. than they were before. Yeah. yeah. So, like here in Italy, also, like you said, like it was really just a few years ago, really primitive market. But now everyone is online. People are buying like. Because we had when, like when a really Italy, long lockdown, yeah. so people just got yeah. used to buying stuff online. When Italy has decided to uh, grab uh, whatever, a new trend, it goes all in. I remember I went to Milan in 92 yeah. and everyone had a mobile phone. Yes. And, and I didn't have a mobile phone. My my yeah. parents didn't have a mobile phone. And I was <laughs> like, wow, it's uh, fascinating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because they're they're really um, into like trends. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, so they were like one of the fastest uh, to get into mobile yeah. phones. So sales funnels, whether you're in Italy or somewhere else, they work. Marketing still works. And paid ads are cheaper than ever before. Uh, this is a fantastic time to get it done. 
before the summer holidays. Yes. Steve, I'm excited. I'm yeah, excited for the name of your funnel. I know you're going to set up a funnel. That's You've already done it. So, yeah. Uh, but you're going to do it inside sales every day and going to follow along with everyone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we just need a name for your funnel. Yeah, just like even after Kickstart now, because I did the, the starter course and... Um, my upsell was a, a group coaching program. So I have, I already have an Ascension model too. Yes. After just three months. After three months, new yeah. business, new baby is born. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now you just need the sales funnel to get the people to know about your amazing programs. Yeah. And you're going to do it all in Icelandic, which is a relatively small market, but yeah. it is big enough. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely big enough to start and it's easy there to to get noticed yeah and yeah. the and the competition is less yeah so it, with a really small niche and a really small market i know people are really worried about i saw a lot of people being worried like oh my niche is so small or 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 they don't want to niche down because they think like they're going to like sell less yeah if the niche down but it's the opposite it's I actually think. the opposite yeah Sif, I'm so happy for you that you're now working in your zone of genius. I'm excited to see another Sif funnel coming to life. <laughs> yeah. And uh, thank you again for working together with me back in 2017 and making sales every day possible, the original funnel. Yeah, thank you for everything. I'm super excited too. Thank you. Well, say goodbye for now. Thank you everybody who watched us. Uh, let's create your funnels. And remember, Naming your funnel is important. Yes. Yes. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.